We're blessed in the city. We're blessed in the field. We're blessed when we come and when we go. We cast down every stronghold, sickness and poverty will cease. For the devil is defeated. We are blessed. Good morning. <laughs> Welcome to Morning Inspiration with Just Joycelyn. I am so glad that you guys have joined me this morning on this channel. And if you will, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you can see every time that I post. And the awesome thing about it is the way this works is as God gives me inspiration, I share that inspiration with you through scripture. And the hopes is that we can encourage one another in this thing called life. All right. So let's go ahead and go to our scripture. Uh, what we're actually looking at today is we're looking at Psalms chapter 32. Again, that's Psalms chapter 32, verse 1. And it says this. Blessed is the one whose transgressions are forgiven and whose sins are covered. Amen, amen, amen. And this scripture is a blessing to me because I have full knowledge of the fact of the matter that I am not perfect. <laughs> I make mistakes daily. Uh, I have to ask people for forgiveness daily because that's just, oh my goodness. You know, we are not perfect people. We make uh, mistakes. Uh, we do things to hurt folks' feelings. Uh, we, there's miscommunications that happen, you know, and if truth be told, um, you know, they talk about transgressions and sins. And a transgression and sins are different because there are those things that we do that we have no control over, but then there are those sins that we have full control over and we do them knowing full well I'm about to do this. But I am so thankful that in this word it said, blessed are those who are forgiven. And I'm so thankful for Jesus Christ dying on the cross for our sins. We have the blessing of a redeemer who died for us so that our sins could be forgiven. And when God sees us, he does not see the sin. He sees his son's sacrifice. Y'all, I don't know about you, but that is a blessing to me. And that gives me hope for tomorrow to know that I am loved, to know that I have a second chance, and to know that also, too, I want to encourage you that you have a second chance. I don't know what things that you have done in your life. I don't know what, um, you know, sometimes guilt can really just kind of ride us, you know, and make us feel like, you know, God, how can I be used for that? Or God, I know you still punishing me for that. But God says, no, when we ask for forgiveness of sins, he forgives us. He redeems us. He doesn't condemn us down to, oh, you did that sin. So now, now I'm going to punish you. And forever, 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 you will always have this over your head. No, God is a forgiving God. Ugh. And he actually gave his loving son so that we could have the ability to be forgiven and be drawn back into relationship with him. Ugh. It's so awesome. So I challenge you today to number one, run to God when you make mistakes. He knows you're going to make them anyway. So just run straight to him. And number two, forgive yourself, man. Whatever it is that you've done, um, as the song says uh, by friend ha Hammond, uh, whatever you've done, I do not even remember, for there are many in my house, it's still empty without my, yeah, you know that prodigal son. <laughs> yeah, so please let that echo in your spirit. Um, he longs to forgive us and have relationship with us. Amen. Amen. Let's go to God in prayer. God, we thank you so much that you long to have relationship with us, Lord God. God, we thank you for the ability to pray uh, to an all-knowing, to you who knows all things, created all things. God, we thank you that we have the opportunity again for relationship with you, Lord God. And so, God, uh, I pray, Lord God, that you um, just cast down any doubts, any fears, Lord God, that myself and my brothers and sisters have, Lord God. Help us to know that you want us to come to you. When we sin, when we commit those sexual sins, uh, lying, cheating, whatever that we do, adultery, whatever that we do, you ask that we will come running to you. That's what you ask. You ask that we will come running to you and you will forgive us of our sins because those burdens, they're too hard for us to bear. 
And so, God, I just thank you so much that you give us a way um, to be free in you and you give us a second chance to do better, Lord God. And so, God, we thank you. We love you and we praise you, Lord God. And I pray for somebody who is watching this channel right now who does not know you and who is overburdened by their sins and their and guilts and stuff from the past. And I pray, Lord, that they let know that they can give those things to you. And if they confess their sins and believe that you died on the cross for their sins, and that God rose you up on the third day, then they are saved. And if you prayed that prayer, you are saved right now. And I welcome you into the family of God. And if you are somebody where you still, oh, it's still hard for you, you're not really sure, please know that just like the song prodigal song son says he is standing right there with his arms open ready to receive you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Well, y'all have an amazing day. Uh, know that you are loved. Know that God is thinking about you uh, at all times. And know that you are forgiven. Amen. Y'all have an awesome day. Be blessed. Mm -hmm.